Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. A stunning and cowardly strike on the United States. Terrorists send mighty skyscrapers crumbling to the ground. Many innocent people are dead. The president vows the killers will pay for this attack on America. September 11th, 2001. You will remember this day as long as you live. On September 7th at 10th of 2001, Michael Jackson performed two televised concerts at Madison Square Garden in New York City, commencing the 30th anniversary of his career as a solo artist. Michael would sing iconic hits with his brothers such as I Want You Back, Dance Machine, and I'll Be There, along with his solo hits including Beat It, Black or White, Billie Jean, The Way You Make Me Feel, and his new hit single at the time, You Rock My World. The show was edited from footage of the two concerts and was watched by 30 million viewers. Not only would this concert go on to be one of Michael Jackson's most iconic performances, but what many don't know is that this would have been the last time the world would ever see Michael Jackson if it wasn't for his mother. After the second concert, on September 10th, according to his brother Jermaine, Michael got a call from his hotel room and was supposed to attend a meeting at one of, at one of the Twin Towers on the morning of September 11th to return some jewelry to his dear friend, actress Elizabeth Taylor. However, fortunately for Michael, he, ca he canceled the meeting at the last minute after staying up talking on the phone with his mother Catherine. Michael didn't know at the time that he escaped death. As hours, as hours later, a heroin event occurred at, at the Twin Towers. It would be one of, if not the most, darkest moments in American history. An urban legend spread throughout the 2000s stated that Jackson, Taylor, and Marlon Brando escaped to New Jersey by car since, since private jets were not an option. From there, it is said that the trio embarked on a road trip to California. After getting as far as Ohio, they abandoned the trip and went, to, and went on to their separate ways. The story is mentioned in the infamous British television, television series Urban Myths in which in the episode, Michael's portrayed by Joseph Phoenix, which has caused widespread backlash for obvious reasons. There is little information on what Michael Jackson did that day, from, but from what I could gather, he, he most likely fled to another state or away from the Times Square area. According to a 2002 interview with Vibe magazine, Michael was in New York when he got a call from one of his friends in Saudi Arabia that America, that, that America was being attacked. Michael said, quote, I turned on the news and saw the Twin Towers coming down, and I said, oh my god. I screamed down the hotel hallway to our people, everybody get out, let's leave now. Marla Brando was on one end, and our security was on the other. We, we, were, we, were, all up, we were all up there, but Elizabeth Taylor was at, was at another, another hotel. We all got out, got out there as quickly as we could. We jumped in the car, but, but there were these girls who, who had been at the show the night before, and they were banging on the windows, running down the street screaming. We hit, we hit in New Jersey. It was unbelievable. I was scared to death. Michael didn't forget about his fans who attended his concert and were stranded in New York City that morning, so he helped them organize ways to get out of the city at a horrific event in history. Upon hearing of the terrorist attacks in New York City, Jackson ordered a bus for his fans and their family to return to California and limousines for their close friends. Jamie Alcantara, one of the fans, commented, On the bus there was a lot of food, drink, movies, etc. Nobody could get out of Manhattan, but we were taken to Brooklyn and the parking lot of the hotel. They told us we could. They told us they could take us to the movie. They would take us to the movies to distract ourselves, and made us choose a movie. The ones that were available at the time: Star Wars, Planet of the Apes, and Rush Hour. We chose Rush Hour. Then they took us to dinner, and then we slept on a bus. The bus had 15 beds. We put on Michael's music since he had a great sound system. They had brought. They had bought all all of Michael's records. Everything we did those days on the bus was paid paid for with Michael's card. Here is Michael Jackson's statement after 9-11. We have repeatedly demonstrated that music can touch our souls. It is time we need that power to help us begin the healing process immediately. I believe in my heart that the music community will unite and rally to aid thousands of, in of innocent victims. There is a tremendous need for relief dollars right now. And through, and through this effort, each of us can play an immediate role in helping comfort so many people.
A month after the attack, Michael and many artists recorded a charity song titled What More Can I Give? The song was initially titled Heal LA and was originally written in 1992 in response to the Rodney King verdict and the following riots. Jackson intended to premiere the song at his MJ and Friends concert in Munich, Germany and Seoul, South Korea in June 1999. Ultimately, Jackson did not perform the song at the concerts and it remained unreleased. Jackson rewrote the song in 1999 with the help of, to help those affected by the Kosovo, Kosovo War, but everything immediately changed on September, on September 11, 2001. Michael reworked the lyrics in 2001 and recorded the song with the help of many pop artists at the time like Beyonce, Carlos Santana, NSYNC, Celine Dion, Usher, Aaron Carter, and more. Over a month after the, after the attack, Michael Jackson hosted a benefit concert titled United We Stand, What More Can I Give? on October 21st, 2001. MJ himself unveiled a finished track at the, at the 2003 Radio Music Award while simultaneously receiving an award presented by Beyonce. Despite the philanthropic efforts and the song's emotional resonance, What More Can I Give? faced challenges in reaching the same success as previous, as previous charity anthems like We All the World. The music video director, Mark Chappell, faced controversy due to his past involvement with, in adult films, leading to the alleged firing by Michael in November, in November 2001. Additionally, Jackson's legal battle with Sony Music, accusing the rec record label of sabotaging the promotion of his album Invincible, added further complications to the release and promotion of the charity song. For Michael Jackson, 9-11 represented a significant turning point in his life and career. Despite facing personal challenges and legal battles, Michael continued to demonstrate his dedication to humanitarian causes, trying to help those in need and bring people together through music. September 11th is a testament to the unpredictability of life and the profound impact that historical that historical events can have on individuals and the world at large. Michael's, Michael's escape from the Twin Towers and subsequent efforts to support those affected by the tragedy exemplify his resilience and compassion as a global icon and humanitarian. As we remember the tragic events of 9-11 and the legacy of Michael Jackson, we are reminded by, of the power of music to heal, unite, and bring hope in the face of adversity. Rest in peace to the lives laws on September 11th, 2001. Well, that's the end of today's video. I hope you learned something new. As always, be sure to subscribe if you're new and comment on any suggestions or topic you would like, you would like for me to discuss in a future video. I apologize this video took so long to upload. I recently moved into my new apartment and at the time of recording, I just finished unpacking my stuff. I will continue to upload twice a week as usual, but it will take some time as I'm currently de dealing with college life. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I appreciate the love and support you have given me. Until next time, thanks for watching, stay safe, and have a good one.